Hey guys, what's up? My name is Megan and I am new to YouTube. I was always a YouTuber, not a YouTube, if that makes sense. But anyway, I want to start off my video by talking about a very important holiday, even to you single people. That is Valentine's Day. Okay, there are three ways in surviving Valentine's Day. Three. I'll tell you those three. One is if you're in a relationship, you better be listening to your girl. You want to know why? There's two reasons for that. Because Valentine's Day, originally, I'm pretty sure it made for girls. Or it's to celebrate St. Valentine, but let's be honest, it's now for the women. Or it's a Hallmark thing, one of the two, so get her a card or something. But here's the thing. For Valentine's Day, rule number one is, you know, like I said, listen to the girl. If she wants to do something, go out on a date, you better go out on that date or you're going to be single for the rest of the holidays. That's all I have to say for that. Okay, two, don't just get her chocolates and roses. Roses are fan like totally fine. Like I love roses to death. But chocolates, really, your girl's either gonna break out because of acne, she's gonna get fat, or the other thing is she's gonna think you think she's anorexic. She's like, what? I'm not big enough for you? Or she'd be like, oh, I'm bigger, and I'm just trying to make me big, and she's gonna be this whole fight. So just skip and just get the roses. And do something unique. Girls like that. Don't do the whole cliche, like, well, I took her out to dinner. I mean, that's definitely cute, too. But throw something in there that makes it different. Okay. So, to review, we're one. Listen to the girl. Do what she wants. Trust me. It'll benefit you and her. And it'll all work out better. Two. Don't be cliche. Do not be a cliche. And get the chocolates. Get the roses. Get the chocolates. Three. The third rule is probably the most important rule. Do not forget Valentine's Day if you are in a relationship. Now, I've given you all the tips if you are in a relationship. If you are single, here's your tips. You have two. Drink, if you're able to, and have a party, or go to a party. And the second one is be with your friends because, well, your single ones. Obviously, don't be the third wheel, because that'd be awkward. So they're giving those roses and chocolates, which, remember, no chocolates, just roses. But anyway, when they're doing that little gift exchange and you're sitting there like, this is cool, I'm alone. Can I have one of those roses? No, like, you cannot have one of those roses. So, single people, go have fun and go be with single friends and single people and meet other people. Then next Valentine's Day, maybe you won't be alone and it'll all work out well. Because I get that all the time. Like, I was trying to sell roses for my friends, these little wooden roses that they're trying to sell at my school. And they're like, well, I don't have a Valentine. Dude, get a rose for your bromance. Do something. Something with your life. Don't sit there and be, I hate Valentine's Day. It's not going to get you anywhere. Having fun well. Okay. Well, those are my three tips for people that are in relationships and celebrating Valentine's Day. And those that are single, go have fun. Don't just sit there. Trust me, I did what you did for a long time and sat there, and Valentine's Day was terrible. I really wish we could go back to kindergarten, though, where they get you the little Valentines, you get, like, Barbies or G.I. Joe ones. Oh, back in my day. Well, anyway, you guys take care, and have a happy and safe Valentine's Day.